covering the Northern Bahamas? You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Falcons Boys Club will soon have a home of their own. President Dan Roll said thanks to the Grand Bahama Port Authority, the Boys Club that has mentored hundreds of young men on Grand Bahama now have their own property and will soon construct a new center named the Champs Community Center with the assistance of Champs Ministry. This is a labor of love. We are going to need your financial support as we are in need of $250,000 to develop this community center and basketball facility where we are going to be able to mentor young boys. This is a tremendous opportunity for us. And over the 21 years that we have been mentoring young boys, we have seen tremendous success. And now with our own property, something that we can develop and be able to do even more in our community. Again, we are so thankful to the Grand Bahama Port Authority, Ms. Thompson, Mr. Pratt, Mr. Ian Roll, Ms. Sarah St. George, and all the individuals who have worked with them, Mr. McIntosh, and the folks over in the, the planning department of the Grand Bahama Port Authority who have helped us to be able to get to this point today. Organizers of the Falcons Boys Club believe that this new center will be a new way to reach out to the youth. We are about getting ready now to have groundbreaking where the development and the construction of this center is concerned. The center will just continue to help us and in a very more effective and powerful way to reach the young men of Grand Bahama in ways which we may have struggled to reach them before. Um, we are looking for bigger and better things as far as the Falcons Boys Club will be concerned as, as a result of this new center that we'll be having. And we are just asking for everyone to just continue to support the Falcons Boys Club. Um, call board, this is a voluntary um, organization and we seek your assistance as we just continue to just mention and put back into the lives of young men in Grand Bahama. Now that groundbreaking ceremony is scheduled for tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. at the Falcons Boys Club property, which will be situated directly across from the Rotary Club's water station. Well, 57 Defense Force Rangers recruits graduating from the training program here on Grand Bahama. The passing out ceremony taking place at the C.A. Smith Complex on the Mall Drive. Acting Permanent Secretary for the Ministry of National Security, Eugene Poitier, speaking on behalf of the Minister of National Security, and he highlighted some of the achievements of the Rangers program on Grand Bahama. Rangers training curriculum therefore prepares and exposes Rangers for, to, for employment opportunities in the Defense Force on the commercial maritime sector as well as entry-level positions in the public and private sectors, thereby providing them with basic training and exposure for accelerated growth and development. I am told that the Grand Bahama District boasts of being the only district having certified Ranger Cadet Divers, with the number of cadets trained to date being 12. Establishing partnerships with the Ranger Program is, an on, is ongoing here in Grand Bahama with the Let's Keep the Grand Bahama Clean Committee and the Ministry of Social Services, Ministry of Tourism, and the Grand Bahama Port Authority to ensure that cadets here on the island engage in activities that will help them to become productive citizens. Poitier also admonishing the aspiring cadets to remember who they are and all that they have learned as rangers. I entreat you to uphold the tenets of the rangers motto, uh, which is discipline, dedication, and determination. So do not be afraid to stand out because of your high standards of discipline. Be bold in your dedication to family, church, and school. And finally, remain determined in your heart that you will always strive for excellence in all your endeavors despite the challenges you might face. And it's all about choice theory and, you know, not following the crowd. And now it is time to ask the doctor. Dr. Lee Pratt. Michelle from Freeport asked, my younger sister was recently diagnosed with lupus. What is lupus? Thank you for your timely question, Michelle. May is recognized as Lupus Awareness Month, so I will dedicate several segments to discuss this very important topic. Lupus is an autoimmune disease, which means it's a disease where the body attacks itself. It usually affects Blacks, Native American, Indians, or persons of Asian descent two to three times more than whites. 90% of persons with lupus are usually women 
and the disease usually affects persons between the ages of 15 to 45. However, it can affect older persons. There is no single cause for developing lupus. Researchers suggest that a combination of several factors can cause or trigger lupus. These include smoking, having a family history, hormonal factors such as high estrogen levels during pregnancy, environmental factors such as infections, extreme stress or excessive sunlight exposure, or immune system factors. So, if you or someone you know may have lupus or at increased risk for lupus, please see a doctor for diagnosis and advice. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us to check on sports. It's up next.